Hey guys, Eric here from Cheap Ass Reviews, and this week we're going to be making an ill-ass patch trucker hat. So, are you ill? Uh, do you like patches? Are you a trucker? If you answered yes to any of those questions, this is the tutorial for you. So yeah, let's do that. For this project, you're going to need a trucker hat. I bought seven for $26, or $3.71 each, from Custom Planet, and they seem to work fine. They're the auto brand of hats, which uh, hold up great and look fantastic. The reason I like these blank auto hats, 32468, is because they have this nice foam panel on the front, and then they also, they fit my watermelon head. Now the patches I got from my brother as a gift for being a good guy. So if you want patches like this, just be a good guy and see what happens. You're also gonna need needles, thread, fierce determination and willpower, and scissors. Then basically you just sew the patch to the hat. First you gotta thread the needle, brah. Then you make a restrictive thread ball, and it's not what you think. Okay, you're also gonna need some bobby pins to pin the patch to the hat, but I forgot about that, so let's just summon a rooster. <laughs> okay. Pin it to the top and the bottom after you've centered it. Then you just start sewing. This might take a while. If you like watching me sew, you might like these other tutorials I've done that are Kind of crafty. Check out the button magnet tutorial or the cheap DIY notebook tutorial. I like to use a similar color thread to an element on the edge of the hat. As you can see here, I used the black thread to match the black border. Last step, you tie it off and then just snippy McSnipperton. Oh, looks like I'm done. That's it. I'll see you next Thursday. <laughs>